Uh oh. Look what Critter did. Brand new shop truck. Kia Bongo 3. It's got a huge bed. This thing's gonna be freaking awesome. The sides drop down and I can, uh, you can just put your tanks right there and, and ungear right there. Yeah, it's just perfect condition. Thing is beautiful. I got a lot of work to do. I gotta take these stickers off and put my logos. I gotta build a cage here and some tank racks and gear racks and we're gonna put a bench right here probably. I wanna do some designing, but we'll put a bench or two right there for uh, divers to sit. And then in here, the first thing I'm gonna do, look how much freaking room there is. Uh, the first thing I gotta do is change this carpet for waterproof carpet. Waterproof this entire thing, the seats, the floor, everything. The front is already kind of waterproof. It's got this different, like a uh, waterproof mat. Uh, so it it's already pretty good, but that's the first thing we're gonna do. But yes, onward and upward. Oh my God, it's got a cup holder there. It's got cup holders here. It's got a thing there. I could put my phone and chargers and stuff up here. It's got a radio thing. This thing is gonna be sweet. And there's tons of room in the back for divers, especially when it's waterproof. They can just jump in from the dive site. Wetsuits and all, that's, that's what I wanna do. This is gonna be a shop truck. Even though it's really nice right now, it's gonna be a work truck. Is that another cup holder? Well, day one of the truck build, I had to go get a whole bunch of steel. And I think I, I overestimated the length of this truck. Check it out. That can't be good. So I got some of the bars and angle iron, but damn. This is how they tied it up. Some angle iron bar. I just got cleaned up, so I'm not touching it again. But, man. If we were in Colorado, this would be nothing. It'd be normal, but now I gotta go through traffic like that. And hope I don't hit a power line. All right. This will actually be a good test because my bed is gonna be that tall anyway. Because I wanna be able to stand back there with uh, without kneeling down. I, I just want it to be comfortable. I just want stairs to go up like this and people to be able to stand up without like bending way over and being uncomfortable. So that'll be fine. That'll be a test, but this, dear God, so it's the next day. Yesterday I went and bought a bunch of the the bars for basically the roll cage. It's not really a roll cage, but uh, you know, the big cage that's gonna go around the whole thing. Uh, we're making, I drew out some plans all night. I mean, I kind of had some in my mind, but then talking to other people yesterday and everything, it changed a little bit. We're gonna make it a lot more simple. This is also a rush job, so I want to make it super functional in the next 10 days. Uh, and this should be like a three week project, but uh, we got a big photo competition coming up, so I gotta finish it. So I'm going down right now. I dropped off the material in the truck last night at my welders, and I'm going down right now to give them the actual plans. I told them not to wait. I told them not to start until uh, I brought the plans in the morning. So it's super early. I'm up at 5 a.m. every day, so I kind of forget that the rest of the world doesn't really do that. So I gotta go wake up my welder, but I can show you guys the plans at least. So I decided to keep the sides because they fold all the way down. And so what I'll do is I'll have the stuff in there and I'll have the boxes like this of gear. And so when we're parked at a site, I can fold these up and it locks those boxes in. Nobody can steal them. Same with this. I just realized there's a guy sleeping right there. I didn't even see him. Anyway, same with this. This will lock in the tanks that'll be right here in the back. 
so previously I was gonna put bench seat there and a bench seat there facing it but I decided with all the measurements everything else I'm gonna put two sideways bench seats right here on the uh, edges so one here one here holds five people and then in the back there's enough room where I can uh, I can stack tanks and then this folds down flat this way uh, we could back up here and unload our tanks off our backs so there's that so here's the truck and the wheel and the bed what I want to work on today is just this cage I want to do one thing at a time make sure it's perfect so it's gonna be tall guys a lot of people are giving me shit here because it's gonna be really tall and uh, you know there's power lines at some of the dive sites but I think I managed so far I think it's gonna be fine but I want to be able to walk in there we're gonna have a big step I just want to be able to walk in full gear and just walk I hate kneeling down or bending over and being all uncomfortable like like a local jeepney like that I just want to walk in straight up and down and do what I got to do so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build this uh, whole cage as you can see it doesn't go all the way to the back because I want to have room for uh, tanks here here's a back view uh, I didn't really draw it to scale on accident but this is how wide the seats are gonna be 18 inches and then uh, so we'll put two bars here so that these these ones there will be another bar that goes down here like a guardrail or a, you know here here you go uh, so when you walk up these steps there'll be something to grab to lift yourself up and then on the side of those will be lots of tank racks or whatever yep yep 64 inches and then we'll just build the cage from there you know I mean it's 64 inches and then 70 inches tall because 70 inches from here. yeah yeah from the bottom we got to reinforce the floor but yeah it's gonna be really tall yeah Flat. yep okay. and then uh, that's about like 10 inches above the cab but that's fine like I said we could just walk in there you know okay, in, the, in the center yeah in the center it'll be like this it'll be like this Flat. so I, I need a 18 inch gap here and then bar and then on this side 18 okay. inch, inch and then bar here. oh he just had a good idea we're all set but if I do this cage like this it'll be perfectly square uh, that it'll be a really sharp corner that's gonna hit trees and stuff uh, so he's gonna bend it around the cab it'll be up here but around the cab make it he, he's gonna pipe bend just uh, this is like on this corner 60 degrees. yeah 60 degrees okay and yeah that'll make it so I hit I don't hit so much stuff it'll look better too okay yeah I think that would look good actually just it'll still be taller than the cab but uh, uh, rounded so it's yeah yeah that'd be cool uh, yeah these guys know their stuff so that's cool uh, with my tables I didn't have time to micromanage I just gave him a little drawing and he did it and they were all perfect so I know this is a step up but he I see uh, some motorcycle frames and stuff that he built from scratch so I'm gonna give him some money because I wasn't able to buy the right uh, welding rods and he'll just go get them. Hey guys, if you wanna support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. The link is down below. Channel members get all kinds of perks, including free diving, discounted dive courses, awesome t-shirts, and a lot more. Whatever you do, I wanna thank you so much for all your support. Thank you. Alright, no rest for the weary. I'm gonna let him do his thing. He don't need me uh, being a little vlogger with a camera uh, watching his thing. I gotta get back to the dive shop. I got four divers, four, four open water students today, and then I got two, you know, two other ones. So, I'll be back here in a couple hours and give you guys an update. Well, I just got another delivery. Check this out. 
the uh, new XL4. This thing is awesome. It's so tiny. Uh, for example, here's the one we just got service for somebody. This thing is pretty big. I don't love it, but I love these tiny ones. It's brand new. It'll be for sale up here on the on the wall. Busy, busy day. Uh, got some di four open water students. They finished today. Well, they finished for the day, and then we got two Jammer and Elvis doing their deep dive for their advanced course today. And I feel like going. I feel like getting in the water. So I might as well put my camera together and go practice some photos. I got the backscatter uh, strobe on there. I'll go practice some photos because all I do is video. And we got the photo competition next week, so I better practice. I better go do a dive real quick, see what I can see, because then I got to go check on the truck. So diving is done. Uh, I didn't get really good photos. I got some, like this one, and this one, and this one. Not too bad, but whatever. I get better photos at night. But today's Judea's birthday. So tell her happy birthday in the comments below. Now it's party party time. Time to play. Oh, hello, Shy. Hello. How are you? Fine. No school today? No. It's you, great. Yeah. You finished the 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 grade. Grade ten. Grade ten. Yeah. Santa Ana. <laughs> and like a graduated. Yeah, going to college. Nice. Oh, we forgot the most important thing. Open. <laughs> <laughs> so look what arrived from the print place. All the uh, pink shirts for the. <laughs> you guys thought I was joking about pink. Uh. But, yeah, this is for the uh, photo competition. Our all Everybody's going to be having Team Critter. Everybody's going to know who the pink shirts are. <laughs> uh, so, Jadia, you think it's too tall? I think. <laughs> it's not too tall. It's perfect. Look. There. Yeah, I get out. I go like this? Yeah. I can stand in my truck, put in my gear. I don't <laughs> You know, I go like this? Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. Let's see in the, let's see what it looks like. So Alex thinks it's too tall. And I say he's too short. How about that? It's perfect. I know it's tall, but there's only one road we have a problem and that's my road <laughs> but I can the company's coming out to raise the uh, line it's just like one shitty power line or uh, cable for the Wi-Fi and then I can stand up in the back of the bed all everybody can uh, we don't have to like bend over like the freaking jeepneys and all that that's a lot less bent than I imagined but yeah. Yeah, I like it. Hold on, I'll go look at the. Front. I think it's fine. Oh man, it's raining really bad. All right, they're gonna bend it more. Yeah. So we only have ten days until the photo shoot. I'm a little worried because of all this rain. Oh man, we're on a tight deadline. Let's call this day one. Yeah. I'm worried, Alex. Yeah. Otherwise, we gotta take your car. No. Oh, God. You okay, no? Oh. So the the seat is like 18 inches tall. So if you're sitting here, put your back here. Oh. This one is still okay. It's not gonna hit your head because it's no. it's uh, diagonal. And it's not too tall. And when we shut the sides, it's perfect. Little tiny gap. Yeah, that'll work. Why are you kneeling? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, we need to buy more pipe. So next we'll do these bars in the back. It'll be like right here. And then I can put the tanks here, the benches there, and uh, like a, a handrail here on both sides. And yes, one loop, two loops. There's gonna be a third here in the middle. Middle support, right? Uh, he's grinding the welds and stuff right now. So there'll be uh, three loops right here. And then two supports on the top, two in the back for like a doorway, and then two handrails going to the back. And then I gotta go buy some smaller pipe for the benches on the side and stuff like that. So I was wondering why they wanted uh, angle iron, how are they going to use that as a base, but obviously they just cut off the back and made it flat stock. Uh, they want to weld, they want to bolt all these to the uh, bed instead of welding so that we can take it off because uh, the floor is not that strong. If we want to replace this, someday we can, or we could just totally unbolt this and take it away. But when this is all done, I got to paint the whole damn thing and make it, you know, like a bed liner or some rust proof stuff. And then we're going to uh, cover this in rubber or like a, a pad or whatever. It's definitely going to be tall. Uh, we're going to put some kind of bar from there to there. Just so if we hit a power line, it'll just slide over uh, or a tree or whatever. Yeah, I don't know how I like it on the looks on the front, but I think we'll make it all right. It's going to be super functional, that's for damn sure. We'll get at least 10 divers just back here, and then uh, three, four, five, and the driver up front. So, yeah. So, we're going over receipts right now. If you guys want me to track how much it costs, to build one of these, let me know. Uh, with all the pipe, the labor, the welding rods, the cutting wheels, <coughs> the rubber and the paint, everything else, uh, let me know if you want me to keep track. Not to mention buying the damn truck. Yeah, she's a beauty on the inside. So much room. Uh, on the next video, let me show you the back. On the next video, I might come in here and finish waterproofing this. Uh, for some reason, they put carpet in this one. And usually, they're like a waterproof thing. So, I'm taking all this carpet out. I'm going to spray. I'm going to like bed liner the whole damn thing. So, I don't care if mud or whatever. Wet divers in their wetsuit get in here. I don't care. And then, I got all this plastic and uh, like heavy waterproof stuff. We're going to put on the seats all of them actually and uh, let's see if i can get that done in the next video this is uh like waterproof uh, wood oh. like uh marine grade wood yeah, I like that. okay so i need the angle irons oh. and then uh, i could just put the wood and have them upholster it later okay it'll be a lot different like a lot higher quality than this yeah, one, this one. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll, I'll put the big uh, angle irons Oh, that is like a one eight. That is uh, the, the strong. That, oh, that, that is strong. And then I'll put, I'll get, I'll find the marine grade uh, uh, wood, and then I'll have it upholstered with the the foam and the rubber, like the boat. Oh, like this. Oh, this one. Yeah, like a newer one of this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got my shopping list. We're getting broke. Don't get jealous, Critter Jr. We still love you. You don't have to. You don't have to worry. I almost just fell off the cliff. At least you got a nice sticker, huh? <laughs> Hello. I don't, I don't have a tripod. Yeah. Let's just hold it. So yeah. it's looking pretty good, actually, huh? Yeah, so far. All right. It looks the pictures nice. didn't look good, so I was worried. Um, but it's looking good trust the process so we got to go do the shopping 
we got to hurry and get all this stuff done. He's making good progress. This is all good for one day. And then he hopefully can finish the bench seats tomorrow. And the rest of the frame today. And then I need to give him some more measurements. Because uh, I didn't think he'd be done this far already. And we got to hurry because what day is today? 18th? Yeah. We got the photo competition on the 27th. I want to be able to use it represent Credit Republic uh, so yeah maybe tomorrow I can while he's working on the benches I can work on the, in, the interior it's almost done I don't think we have any students <laughs> tomorrow yeah <laughs> shit we do <laughs> that's, a that's why I'm having to get everything done instead of do it ourselves because they're so busy at the shop you know yeah. but yeah let's go do some more drawings and measurements and uh, more designing. <laughs> designing. I still need to make the tank holders like a platform with a bunch of holes in it. The exact, and then I, I guess we'll use that marine grade plywood for that as well and just wrap it completely. I'll probably seal it with the uh, waterproof stuff and then wrap it in the rubber so the tanks don't break it or whatever. Yeah, I guess that's the next project. Yeah. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. This is going to be a long series. Building the ultimate scuba truck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you.